So, what are these boiler NOx generated pollutants really all about? Well, to answer this question, let's begin by looking at the NOx released by various fuels as they are volatilized by the burner. You see with natural gas and no emission control, it generates about 120 parts per million of NOx per cubic foot. Number two oil generates about 180 parts per million per pound with approximately 0.015% fuel bound nitrogen, uh, which by the way we cannot do anything with in terms of reduction through thermal control. And for number six oil, well, it generates about 425 parts per million per pound with 0.13% fuel bound nitrogen, which again we cannot remove thermally. So getting rid of the fuel bound NOx really requires a reformulated oil fuel, a synthetic, that that be burned where the fuel bound nitrogen is removed. Now with all of this in mind, let's look more closely at what nitrogen oxides are. And as you see on the slide, they consist of NO, which is nitric oxide, and NO2, which is nitrogen dioxide. And the formation of these pollutants is again a result of chemical reaction, a chemical reaction taking place with the oxygen and the nitrogen in the air, and with heat, and the residence time in the furnace. Now you also see on the slide that there are three forms of NOx. We have prompt, we have thermal, and we have fuel bound NOx. And allow me to briefly describe them for you. Uh, with the exception, of course, of the fuel bound NOx, as we can't really do anything about it except to burn a synthetic fuel. So we'll limit our discussion today to prompt and thermal NOx, beginning with prompt NOx. Prompt NOx is a pollutant which forms at the lower temperatures in the early stages of oxidation or combustion, uh, reacting with radicals in the fuels such as carbon and or methylene. Prompt NOx is a relatively small contributor to the overall NOx production in total, but when looking closely at the problem, it should certainly not be overlooked either. Turning now to the, the biggest contributor to the problem, we consider thermal NOx, which forms at the elevated temperatures of approximately 2,900 degrees in the furnace. And in the case of natural gas, and as looked at previously, Natural gas generates about 120 parts per million of NOx at these temperatures and the normal residence times. So why are we trying to eliminate the amount of nitrogen oxides being emitted? Nitrogen oxides, when combined with volatile organic compounds in sunlight, form what we like to refer to as bad ozone, which as you can see on the slide, has many detrimental effects, especially for babies and seniors. And where this bad ozone forms is well below the, stratos uh, the stratosphere, where the, the good ozone resides, which filters out the UV rays. This NOx actually forms in the 10 mile deep troposphere, which is the lowest portion of our total atmosphere, forming about 80% of our total atmospheric mass. And to show you more graphically what the bad ozone or smog looks like, well, here's a real nice sunny day in Southern California. But you know, I must admit that they in California have made considerable progress in cleaning up their air over the last 20 or 30 years. And, and I'll be I'll showing you uh, just how that was at least partially accomplished in, in a few minutes when we look uh, or take a look at some of the newest burner designs for improving combustion efficiency while also substantially reducing NOx emissions. And speaking of, of California and, and the smog problems there, well, here's, here's a map which indicates where the EPA has, has cited various jurisdictions throughout the country as not being in compliance with air regulation mandates. So the problem is, is certainly not limited to California, though it, it has, uh, you know, has some of the most severe um, pollution problems, as you can see by the red highlight. But as you can also see, Air quality is a, a, real, a real problem across the nation, and, and the boiler and burner industry has, has, has been hard at work improving our designs to address these issues, and, and quite frankly, have made excellent strides in that process. 
Now, just briefly before I move on to the burner designs I, I, that I've been alluding to, let me let me just mention the the other problem caused by nitrogen oxides in the air, and, and that is the possible formation of acid rain. As you can see in the slide, hydrogen, nitrogen, and ozone, which is O3, combine to form acid rain or nitric acid, which is a defoliant and a hazard to human health in extreme cases. So just another reason to control these nitrogen emissions as much as we possibly can.